Hey folks, this is Aslin Block from linsfood.com. Today it's Shole Zard, a Persian saffron rice pudding. Rice pudding like you've never had before. No milk, no cream, just saffron, rose water and cardamom. Let's take a look at the ingredients. 200 grams of short green rice, 400 grams of white sugar, seeds of four green cardamoms that we're going to pound to a powder, two tablespoons liquid saffron, and this is how you get liquid saffron. You pound your saffron with a little bit of sugar, add the amount of liquid that the recipe calls for, in this case, two tablespoons of very hot water. Mix it and you're done. Click on that link for my full video on how to make liquid saffron. Then you're also going to need 30 grams of salted butter, four tablespoons rose water. And when your rice pudding is done, to garnish some ground cinnamon, slivered pistachios and almonds, and to make it look really pretty, some dried rose petals and rose buds. So let's get cooking. We're going to rinse the rice once or twice until the water runs clear or clear-ish. Place it on the hob on high heat, add all the water and bring it to a boil. When it's boiling, give it a stir and reduce the heat to low and simmer for one whole hour. At 30 minutes, this is what your rice is going to look like. Now during the last 15 minutes, you will probably have to give it one or two stirs to stop it from catching at the bottom. This is what your rice pudding looks like, all dry and gloopy at one hour. Now we add the sugar in, give it a stir, follow the sugar with the butter, the 30 grams of butter, stir that in. Then we add the saffron in. Give it a good stir and you guessed it, last comes in our cardamom, our ground cardamom. Stir it in well and simmer on low for 10 more minutes and that's your finished, almost finished rice pudding. So we take it off the heat and stir in the four tablespoons of rose water. Give it a really good stir. Then dish it up into individual serving glasses or a bigger bowl to share. Cool for 10 minutes, then cover with cling film and place in the fridge for up to two days. Let's decorate your rice pudding. You could flatten it with a wet spoon if you like. Start off with a sprinkle of cinnamon. How little, how much you want is up to you. Then decorate however you like. Rose petals, rose buds, nuts, whether it's slivers or flakes, that's completely up to you. Even chopped up nuts, it's completely up to you. Don't forget, you're going to eat that pudding. So maybe don't go crazy on the sprinkles. There you have it, all finished. Isn't that beautiful? Exquisite, as I called it. Sholezad Persian Saffron Rice Pudding from linsfood.com Don't forget to hit that like button. I shall catch you guys really soon. Cheerio!